Hey, what's up everybody? This is Maddie Bo, and today we're talking about the rumors surrounding the Samsung Galaxy S6. Twenty fourteen wasn't a great year for Samsung, at least for the mobile division. The Samsung Galaxy S5 didn't perform or sell as well as the previous year in 2013 when the Galaxy S4 was released. The device itself didn't feel like any big changes compared to before. I mean, yeah, you got a fingerprint sensor, but it didn't really work well. Now, because it didn't sell that well and there was a lot of stock left on its shelves, Samsung vows to completely redesign the Galaxy S6 starting from the ground up. In fact, they're calling it Project Zero. Based on recent leaks, the next Galaxy S6 is gonna be a full metal design. It's not surprising that Samsung is gonna be taking a new approach to the designs of their smartphone. Everyone knows that Samsung devices usually feel cheap and plasticky. I mean, they are lighter in your hand, but the, the materials are just not there. Now, recently with the Galaxy Note 4 and the Galaxy Alpha, they decided to up the quality of their phones. Both devices have this nice metal you know, edge wrapped around the phone, chamfered edges, and it feels really good in your hand. So it's not surprising that Samsung is gonna take even more of a jump and produce an all metal phone. But the interesting thing about the phone is that it's gonna have a curved display. The last time Samsung released a curved screen was on the Galaxy Round. Now, it wasn't really a popular phone. They didn't really put too much marketing behind it, but it was more of an experiment just to see how people would react. It didn't sell many phones. It wasn't a flagship killer. It was just something that Samsung wanted to put on the market to see people's reactions. If anybody's used a curved TV, like when you sit in front of the TV, you kind of, you're kind of more immersed into the content that you're watching. I don't know how that will show up on a smartphone, but I guess Samsung has some ideas behind it. Of course, the rumored specs are what you would expect in 2015. It's gonna have probably the new Snapdragon 810 64-bit processor. The rumors indicate that it's probably gonna have anywhere between three and four gigabytes of RAM. The interesting thing is they're probably gonna get rid of the 16 gigabit storage option and do 32, 64, or 128 versions of the phone. Of course, it's gonna be all metal like I mentioned previously. The screen will definitely be QHD. Hopefully it'll be just as good as the Galaxy Note 4. If anybody's used that screen, it's probably the best QHD screen on the market right now. So if it's used the same screen, that's great. Maybe by then they'll improve it to make it even better, but either way you can't go wrong. The phone will also come with a 16 megapixel camera, which is the same as the Galaxy S5, but the biggest difference is that the Galaxy S6 will have an improved sensor. And they're also playing around with a 20 megapixel rear facing camera as well. So who knows which way they decide to go with. The great thing is, Google's newest version of Android Lollipop has better camera APIs. So hopefully with the new gear that goes into the Galaxy S6 and the APIs that Google revamped on Android 5.0 Lollipop will provide a better camera experience. It's kind of always been lackluster compared to, to the iPhone. So hopefully the GS6 with its new improved hardware and the new APIs that I put into Android 5.0 Lollipop will get some photo quality that's on par with the iPhone 6 or iPhone 6 Plus. Now it's also rumored that the phone's gonna have a five megapixel front facing camera. So it'd be fantastic for selfies if you're to that, also great for uh, video chats. And it's also rumored that the screen is gonna be 5.3 to 5.5 inches, which is not surprising considering most phones are reaching the 5.5 and above mark. And also last year the Galaxy S5 was only 5.2 inches, so it's not surprising that they're gonna bump up the display size next year. Also another rumor that they're saying is that the phone might actually have an iris scanner, which is pretty cool. It'll be the first smartphone they'll be able to scan your eyes. I think that's some pretty cool biometrics. I mean, right now we're just starting to use uh, Touch ID and fingerprint scanners, and I'm sure the Galaxy S6 will have an improved fingerprint scanner, but if they also introduce iris scanner, that'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Let's hope it's just not another gimmick. Sometimes Samsung has the tendency to release new features and they're kind of gimmicky and they just don't work really well. Of course, the Galaxy S6 is gonna have improved fingerprint scanner, which it really didn't have on the Galaxy S5. It was really bad on it. And on top of it, let's hope Samsung improves TouchWish. Now, TouchWish has gotten a little better over the year. It's not as heavy and, and annoying. I mean, it's still not that great. I personally don't like TouchWish, but if they can bring it a little bit down to more of a stock-like experience, I think a lot of customers will be really happy with that. I mean, you know how Samsung is. We can only get our hopes up, but if they do, that'll be great. Even if it's just a little bit, it'll be an improvement in the right direction. Now, the most craziest rumor that has been going around the internet is that the Galaxy S6 might also have an edge display, similar to the Galaxy Note Edge. Now, if they do that and it's not improved compared to what was just released recently on the Note Edge, a lot of left-handed people are gonna be pretty angry. Um, anyone who's left-handed and has used the Galaxy Note Edge has to use it upside down. It's already bad enough that us left-handed people have trouble living in a right-handed world. So let's hope that they don't do something like that on the 
the GS6 unless there's some sort of way to incorporate lefties into it. And that's pretty much it for all the rumors surrounding the Galaxy S6. If you think I've missed anything, please leave it in the comments below. If you think there's something you'd wanna see in the Galaxy S6, let me know as well. Also, there are a couple of concept designs running around the internet, like such as this one. And as you can see, it doesn't have a curved display, but you know, the whole metal body and, and stuff that kind of looks similar to the leaked photos that was shown earlier in the video. So I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. Are you guys gonna buy a Galaxy S6 next year? Or are you gonna stick with a Nexus device or wait, wait for HTC to see what they come out with? Overall, Samsung has something to prove now. I mean, they can't just release devices and expect the world to buy it based on their amazing marketing. As always guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. If you like this video, please go ahead and share it. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode.